Now then, welcome to the den. Welcome to another general shave. Nice to be here. Nice to have you here. Everything's nice. Okay, <clears throat> I request shave today. Uh, Mr. Paul Walker, I do believe. He's, uh, well, he's, uh, it's a request shave. He's asked me to shave with the Rockwell 6S. Now he says T3, I'm assuming you mean R3, Paul. So that's the Rockwell 6S, plate R3. <clears throat> He's requested I use Paul Mollive and the Darby Extra Blade. First time I've opened these. <laughs> so uh, I think there might be some pickups required here. Yeah, but I love it. People request shaves. If you want to say anything, if I've got it, you request it, I'll do it. And uh, the items Paul selected here, it's it's all easily available on high street. Uh, very cheap, apart from the Rockwell, of course, unless you get the 6C. Uh, it's like a new wet, someone who's new for wet shaving. It's a type of setup they'd use. So uh, by people requesting shaves like this, it is a good thing for the community and for people who are new to shaving in this style. So, without further ado, let's crack on. So I'll just rework the whiskies. I've been asked, do I uh, use pre-shave? Not a lot. I don't see just a great benefit to it, really, especially if you're uh, face lathering. Sometimes if you're bowl lathering, yeah, it's worth uh, putting a bit of pro razor on then. But uh, <clears throat> I suffer from uh, skin problems, too much product. I'll break out in a rash. That's why you never see me use uh, shaving balms because my skin is very oily, naturally oily. So I don't use shaving balms anymore, scalp or face. So uh, I try to keep things to a minimum. I will use uh, aloe vera, witch hazel, uh, that type of thing. And usually I'll uh, use hand sanitizer on the face. Yeah, stuff we sanitize our hands with. I put that on my face and my neck quite a lot to uh, combat my uh, oily skin problems and it uh, seems to be working a treat because a few months ago, if you go back from my videos, I've got some horrendous breakouts on the skin so uh, I have to bear that in mind all the time. So, my Paul Olive needs no introduction, buy it on the ice feet, couple of buddy tube, if that, if memory serves, palm oil based. So vegan based, and it just smells of palm oil. So, uh, brush I'm going to be using will be the mysterious space Yorkie 24 millimeter timber wolf knot. See the sparkle in that handle. The mysterious space. So just give the brush a damping here, and I will put the palm oil straight into the brush. So no need for a shaving bowl. No, I might have put a bit much in there. No walking around, a nice easy shave today. So a nice cheap setup also. Palm olive. It's a pleasant enough scent I suppose. It's uh, nice, clean. Nothing nasty about it whatsoever. The neck, that could be a sensitive area. You've got a lot of stubble, as I currently have. So I'll give that a little bit of an extra working with the brush. Really help soften up those bristles. As you can see, the cream's looking a tad pasty at the moment. So we need more water. Just dip the brush. Paint the water on one side. Dip the brush. Paint some water on the other side. Dip the brush. This side of the neck. Dip the brush, just the tips. That side of the neck. Splay the brush. Now it's not worth trying to get a nice voluminous fluffy 
cloud of lava out of this cream because it's not going to happen. But it's doing the job it's supposed to do. Just a little bit more, more water. So there's no such thing as, well there is such a thing as over hydration. That's when the lava is literally running off your face. Plop, like that. <laughs> so the more water you can get into a lava, obviously. Plop, <laughs> the slicker it's going to be. See that's nice and shiny now. Yeah, we're talking about a proper budget product here, you know. Got that left in the brush for my subsequent passes. You know what? I haven't even put a bloody blade in the razor yet. Okay. Make sure I'm on plate three there. See underneath the plate three, the number you see is the setting you're shaving on. So make sure I keep that the right way up. Top cap. Derby blade, brand new, straight out of paper. I say, uh, <laughs> I don't even think I've used one of these before, but uh, I'm thinking things may be, may be a little tuggy. Put my little plastic washer on. Just says any wear and tear on the uh, plate of the razor. Tighten it up. There's the blade in the razor. You've got about, say, just under a millimetre of blade exposure either side of the head to be aware of, but I've never caught myself with it yet, so it's not that razor problem. So here we go. Daily driver razor this, if you've seen my last video. It was a tag video to name our magnificent 11 DE safety razors. And this was in my category of daily driver. Well, it's feeling quite nice actually. Not the sharpest tool in the box, but I've shaved with uh, blades which are not even as sharp as this, <laughs> i.e. I'm feeling I can apply a little bit of pressure to the razor here. Because things are feeling so nice. Great feedback. Great audio. Yeah, my uh, three videos back from this one so the second to last video I published was my uh, 500 subscriber giveaway and I'm shaving with a tiger blade there now that, well, that bug had sucked it really did so this blade is definitely performing much better than the Tiger did. So, uh, yeah, so if you've not checked out my 500 subscription giveaway video, and my it's also my YouTube anniversary, 12 months on the tube, go back, check it out, because there's a, a giveaway on there. All you need to do is be a subscriber to the channel, 
hit the like button, leave the comments, I'm in. For the two winners, the two winners drawn out of the bag. Look at that, guys, look at that. Slickness, plenty, slickness of plenty. The two winners drawn out of the hat go on to uh, Shaving Time website and select a good fella's smile set of your choice. I'll buy it and it's shipped to you. If you're in a different country, I'll probably have it shipped to me, then I'll send it to you. So as you avoid any uh, handling tax co tax costs, etc. Because being sent by me, it'll be uh, classed as a gift. How are we all doing? It's a uh, day off for me today. Back to grind tomorrow. So across the grain with the Derby extra. Such an easy shaving razor, this uh, Rockwell, you know. A lot of people who start starting out, they'll uh, often say, what razor would you recommend? This or the Rockwell 6C for half the price. Six razors in one, basically. I'm actually liking this shave. The cheap high street shave. And this blade is considerably better than I was expecting. So I'm just flying on the slickness there. And there's plenty of it. Let me tell you. You know, you get these cheap high street creams and uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure some people they say, oh, that's cheap. It's going to be uh, nasty, but Try these things, you'll be pleasantly surprised. And you're just starting out on your traditional wet shaving journey. Be that facial, head, legs, armpits, chest, whatever. You're not gonna go far wrong. Using products such as this. God, my hairline goes right down to my belly button. <laughs> okay, prepare for pass free. Again, slickness is still there. Got quite a lot of uh, stubble under there still. That's going to take some special attention, I think. Where have we brush? As blind as a bat. <laughs> Sat right in front of me and I didn't see it. Don't know how I get through life sometimes, you know. <laughs> see, there's not a lot of uh, struggle for the lower to cling to now. Hence, it's looking a little thin. Okay. Let's go again, Spade. Right? Um, 
much the applying pressure here. Into the cheeks, they are quite a stubborn place to get BBS. So I think if you are new to this style of shaving, don't be obsessed by getting BBS. Baby, baby but smooth, straight away. See those crisp bedroll, CB shaves. Nice long strokes against the moustache. <laughs> I don't make my views cringe. I'm hoping to get this uh, done before next door's dogs come out. It's nice to actually shave and not hear them barking. I'm sure you'll agree. So, so I'm doing a little bit more work than I would normally. I think with the Rockwell, I would normally be on at least plate number four. It just cuts down the amount of uh, strokes I need to take. Don't it? Nice. Second half of the neck. Oh, it's all good under there. Yes, so if, uh, if you have any request shaves, pop them down below. If I've got it, I'll do it. Just struggling here. A little bit of bristle, just can't, can't quite get. That's got it. Okay, so I'll rinse off, feel around, see how I've done. Yeah. The tr tricky bits here. And I'm just shaving on the residual slickness here. As you can see, there's plenty of it. A little bit here. See, so plate four, I wouldn't have to do this. It would have all, would have all been knocked down by now. Like little bits of touch up work. Nothing severe. This is me chasing BBS, guys. You don't need to be this pedantic. But I want my shakes to last me for the day tomorrow. That's my excuse. That's my excuse. Okay, just gonna rinse off. There is a lot of slickness too. Rinse off here. So I didn't give you a uh, our shaving just before I'm running out the door. Make sure you get all the residue and soap up your neck, guys, because I suffer there. That, that, that's really not good for the skin, leaving that stuff on. If you're sensitive, like me, that is. I'm 
OK. And for such a cheap show, cheap show, that's, uh, that's a nice post shave feel. That's a good clean shave. No fuss, no cuts, no weepers, no creepers. Perfect. Right. The requested aftershave. We're going cheap again. You get it in high streets again. Root. Bare root. Oh, a little more came out than I had planned. Yeah, I've got a sting. But it's not a bad sting. Oh dear. Sure, I saw some uh, <laughs> raw performing up there with that aftershave. Maybe I didn't rinse it quite enough. No wonder I get spots. Okay, so Mr. Paul Walker, there's your request shave. Let's quickly go through it. What I've used Rockwell Success on R3 in there. Using a Derby Extra Blade for the first time. First time ever using one for me. Uh, the soap, the cream, the genetic was the palm olive classic for men. Brush was the Yaki Timberwolf mysterious space handle. And for afters, it was all finished off with the great smell of root. Okay, super. Right, um, currently on 521 subscribers. It's rocketed. Thank you all, thank you all very much for all the subscriptions, it's much appreciated. Thanks for watching, thanks for all the comments, all the likes, and if you want to comment, comment below. Anything you want to comment, any question you want to ask, any request uh, shaves, any future request shaves. As I say, if I've got it, I'll do it. Okay guys, thanks very much for watching, you stay safe now, I'll see you all further along the line. Bye bye.